Hello everyone, uh, this is exam number one of the statistical package for the social sciences or SPSS basic operation. And this one is with reference to the video that I let you watch on the basic operations of SPSS. So as what you see in here, you can find the variables, sex, civil status, position in the school or company, status of position, location of residence, location of workplace, height and feet, weight in kilograms, and then age. So I want you to set up a, a file in the SPSS entering these different values, no, of the different variables. So we have on this file, we have respondent number one up to respondent number 16. And then up to respondent number 25. The next one is from number 26 to number 53. And then for the next document, from number 54 up to number 81 and then the last one is up to 100. So all in all the total number of respondents is 100 and those different respondents are being classified in terms of the following variables sex, civil status, position in the school or company, status of position, location of residence, location of workplace, height and feet, weight in kilograms, and then age. So I want you to set up your SPSS file, having these different variables, and then entering the different data. We want you to apply all those that are being found in SPSS video number one. And then I want you to come up with this. So I want uh, you to have this kind of file wherein the different columns are now filled up with the different uh, headings, sex, civil status, and to weight, uh, and then age. And then in this case, uh, this regards uh, performance, rat, per rat, and weight, rec. So this regards the last two. The encoding of the data would be from sex, civil status, position, then start position. We have a location of residence, location of workplace, height and feet, and then weight in kilograms, and then age. As I mentioned, do not include the, the last two columns. And then I want you to encode respondent number one data up to respondent number 100, because in the first, um, Requirement, you are going to encode all of the 100. And I want to see in your file also, this one, the variable view. You have here the variable view. So from name of the variable type with decimals and then the label, because uh, there are instances that you are going to do abbreviation. And if uh, the variables are ab abbreviated, you are going to have the exact name of the abbreviation under the label column. And then the values also, you are going to code, you know, like sex, for example, male, and then female, then so forth and so on. And then looking at missing none columns, and then alignment should be all at the center, then the classification of the variable, astronomical, ordinal, interval, and then ratio. So you have to take note that scale is now equivalent to the term used in SPSS. And the scale in the SPSS is referring to the interval and the ratio scale. And then automatic, the last column is what we call role and classified as input. All of the variables are classified as input. So I want to see this part, the, the variable view. And then uh, I want to see this part, the data view, and the total is up to 100. In this screenshot, up to number 24, because this one is only a sample model. 
but the total should be one up there. We are going to recall the data that we have. So one up to 25. The second batch, you can find 26 up to 53. And then in here, we have 54 up to 81. And then the next one is, you can see, number 82 up to number 100. So look at again, watch again, video number one about the SPSS. There's a video on the basic operation of the SPSS. And I want you to come up with uh, this kind of activity, the first exam of SPSS. And all of those uh, outputs must be having one file, SPSS exam number one. And you are going to send that to my email. My email is craig.refugio at gmail.com. I assume you know the spelling of my name, Craig, C-R-A-I-G, then refugio, R-E-F-U-G-I-O. So craig.refugio at gmail.com. All emails must be received on or before 10 o'clock today. So you have the period to answer all of those, to encode all of those in your SPSS file. So I want you to email that one. I will not entertain emails without the corresponding subject. SPSS exam number one. So no subject, then for sure the email will not be open. And be sure that you have your real name in there so that I can actually record the, exactly the data. The file must be the SPSS file, not a screenshot, no, not a screenshot, but the SPSS file that should be sent into my email. Remember, up to 10 o'clock only today based on our class schedule. So thank you very much.